Jesus Photo Lab is a web application that allows developers to quickly preview how JLSL shaders would look like when applied to HTML elements. Not just see how these textures would look like, but also animate them and edit those JLSL shaders in line within the browser. This is filters are bringing features that were available offline before and filling that gap between web applications and native applications. The filters that we see on Photoshop, for example, you don't have those features on the web, and that's where custom filters with GLSL shaders and so on come in. It's really cool to have this power of filters within CSS because you can manually manipulate the filter and its values at runtime without having to go to the back end and request a new image or new assets. One of the coolest features about Filter Lab is the fact that you can write custom shaders within it. It has a little code editor that actually gives you real-time feedback visually as you're coding. We have two views. One is just for the exact frame that you're uh, working with. And also we have this animation view where you actually get the whole animation code that you can just copy and paste in your CSS file and reference from your element. CSS Filter Lab was built as the, the specification was being written so that the developers could try out and see what works as a web developer. So they really want to see it from that perspective and see how the end user is going to experience this technology and how it makes sense on the web. We want to make sure that the syntax and the APIs that we expose to the web are actually usable. So we prototype implementations using WebKit, and then we, we start building demos and samples. We try to take initiative and show that this is possible to do on browsers. You can actually go into Chrome and go to About Flags, click Enable CSS Shaders, and try out these experimental features. So one of the things we wanted to do with CSS Filter Lab was bring it down to your mobile device so you could carry it with you everywhere you go. Whenever you're feeling inspired, you could just pull out your phone and play around with some filters. It's a very hard thing to do because you can't have the same UI and you need to be really thinking very differently to expose those functionality on the mobile browsers. Some of the considerations we had to make was how all these user interface elements were going to fit with the smaller real estate. So we really had to consider how the user was going to engage with this content on your mobile device using touch as a way of interacting with the phone. So we added things like gestural support for swiping and scaling of the content, which allow you to visually navigate the mobile content a lot easier. CSS Folder Lab is a web app, but it performs and looks and appears like a native application. It's really exciting to see the way that developers and web designers are taking cues from native applications and being able to achieve those same effects within their web designs. The end game is for these to be actual standards that really enhance the web experience.